<sighs> What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Zahid. As you can see behind me, this is uh, what used to be my very mint Honda S2000. Clearly it's been a little bit of a rough month and uh, I guess I owe you guys a little bit of an explanation. So yeah, let's talk about it. Let's, let's just get to it. Okay, so about a month ago, Mark and I, we decided that we were gonna go to this Cars and Coffee event in the North Bay, which is about an hour's drive from me. That morning when I woke up, it was raining, kind of like off and on, not that bad, but I generally don't take my S2000 out in the rain. Something about that morning, I decided, you know what? This event is gonna be totally worth it. Spoiler alert, it indeed was not worth it at all. Despite the rain, the event was actually really cool and there was a great turnout. Uh, we saw a lot of very clean builds that showed up to this show. So that part was super fun. It was super fun. But once things ended, I decided that, hey, we should go check out this local road because uh, one, I heard it was a really good road. And two, I was thinking, you know, I know it's raining, but we can take it easy. We can drive very safe. And that way we can come back when it's dry and actually have a little bit of fun. Unfortunately, curiosity got the best of me and I really wanted to go check out this local road. Uh, yeah. Yep. <sighs> Um, I got a smile on my face because I've had an hour to uh, kind of process this, but uh, yeah, not a good day, not a good day. Yeah, a couple miles into the road, started pouring, and I think I unknowingly lifted off mid-turn, and the next thing you know, I was plagued by the infamous snap over steer that Honda S2000s are very accustomed to. And if I was a better driver, I probably could have saved it, honestly. But, you know, it just caught me off guard, narrow road. And the spot that I slipped out, there was a ton of tar snakes. I'm not, I'm not trying to make excuses or anything. Uh, honestly, I don't even want to dwell on it too much. <laughs> I just, uh, I'm just happy things aren't worse than they, than they are. Imagine I went down that side, it's like a river down there tow truck is here i'm still um very depressed <sighs> but it could be worse i gotta keep remembering that and this is a good opportunity to maybe diy some shit i wouldn't have done before fuck it man i gotta stop talking to the camera i don't know i feel like a person who should not be talking to anyone right now Pretty sure that'll buff out. No big deal. No big deal. That'll buff out. That'll buff out. I knew it was bad because as soon as I had hit the dirt bank, uh, Mark was like running towards my driver's side window. Overall, I was fine, but him running towards me made me realize that I'm probably not gonna drive away from what just happened. So yeah, shout out to Mark. Thank you so much, man. Dude, that guy talked me out of a de depressive spiral that day and he helped me get the car back to the warehouse where we could actually assess the damage. So shout out to you, brother. So when I got out of the car, I can tell that the front, the rear end, the rear quarter panel, and my wheel were all damaged. But what I couldn't see immediately is that my subframe, my control arms, and my toe arm were also damaged. So not to mention my knuckle and my hub. <laughs> you guys have watched me build this car on my YouTube channel and I don't have to explain how important this car is to me, how much uh, time, energy, and effort I've put into this car. You know, all that being said, factory chassis components are not readily available for the S2000. And because of all the damage that happened, I'm not entirely sure if I wanna keep building my S2000 on this channel. Psych, gotcha. Come on, man, you thought that I was going to give up on my S2000? Do you know how much I love this thing? Listen, I don't care if this car would have been totaled. It's not totaled, by the way. I don't care. I would have figured out a way to get this thing back on the road and we're sticking to the plan. This car is coming back 
way better than it was before. It's gonna look way cooler. I'm gonna get better as a driver, I can promise you that. I learned a lot and I get it, okay? I know how ironic it is that I just made a video about wanting to be faster in 2024 and a month later, I'm making a video about crashing my S2000. I swear to God, I didn't do this for the YouTube views. Uh, this absolutely sucks. And check it out, you know, it may not look like it right now because I kind of set it up like this. Believe it or not, but the car is actually repaired and back on the road. This thing was so mangled when the accident happened. And this is crazy. My Mugen MF10 wheel is totally fine. It's not bent, it's not cracked. Everything behind it was destroyed, right? Like bent out of shape. The Mugen MF10 took the hit and is totally fine. Aside from a tiny bit of curb rash, which I'm gonna get repaired. It is crazy. And if that doesn't tell you that you should be investing in quality forged wheels, I don't know what will. I will never not invest in forged wheels from this moment on. But yeah, believe it or not, the car is actually running perfectly fine. Yeah, we got a little bit of damage here. It'll buff out. But before we get to that, let's talk about all the work it took to get the car back on the road. I'm Matt from the shop San Bruno. Uh, opened in 2005. Uh, been around for 18 years now, I think. 19 years, something like that. Uh, we do regular maintenance and repairs, uh, alignments, brakes, tires, suspension. So when the car came in, rear right suspension damage. Um, I mean, the wheel was pointed in, so we had a lot of toe in, and we had some positive camber. Uh, so definitely there was some suspension damage there. Uh, inspected it, determined that the subframe was bent, upper lower control arm, and also the knuckle. Shout out to Matt and the shop. I mean, without these guys, my car wouldn't be back on the road as quickly as, as it was. Um, they, we sourced everything from Formula S over in SoCal. Shout out to those guys. They got the subframe, the control arm, the toe arms. Um, you guys sourced the knuckle bearings and a lower control arm. And they got the car put back together. I mean, from this angle, it doesn't even look like it's destroyed. So if you guys need anything done, you're in the Bay Area, you need work on your either your track car, your stance car, your daily driver, whatever it is, hit these guys up. I've been coming to them for years. All of my cars have been coming here. I hope uh, I didn't mess it up with, I was, I'm cracking up laughing when you're talking. Yeah. Cause this guy's, I see him in the background like every now and then like, yeah, yeah so I hope I, that didn't ruin it. No, you're, that's yeah. per it's perfect. Okay, so now that we got the chassis all sorted out, the car is back on the road, driving straight, driving great. Now we obviously have to get some body work done. So if you guys, if anyone out there is local to the Bay Area and you have a shop that you think could help me with this monstrosity of a rear quarter panel and to help me paint my new bumpers, just to let you guys know, they're not factory bumpers. We kind of spice things up a little bit. In the next video, I'm gonna drive down to SoCal to pick up some very, very nice parts. So you guys don't wanna miss that. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and like today's video if you wanna support the channel, you know? None of this stuff is cheap and uh, I'm not gonna stop making content for you guys. So you might as well support the channel and help your boy out. Anyways, I appreciate you guys rocking with me and until next time, peace out. Take care guys. Don't worry, the car is gonna come back I can't believe I crashed this thing though. It's still like kind of mind boggling. Whatever. All right, later.